Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to my Correct Tech New Horizons series. Last episode we went ahead and crafted up the Mega Ultimate Battery, or the really ultimate battery. Uh, but we did put it in a Mega Ultimate Battery Buffer, and uh, I've had the world running for a little bit, as we can see. I have 30 trillion EU stored up, and we've gone ahead and crafted up a third reactor so i have all my plasma generators running uh, permanently all eight of them and this actually i actually don't know i haven't i don't remember the exact amount but it's staying just about even um the 29.3 hasn't changed at all in about 10 hours so but i i don't know if it's like slowly go i can't i never remember until <laughs> 24. I'll look at the 24 and then I'll forget what it was supposed to be at. So it may be going up or it may be slightly going down, but it is basically staying um, with that with the uh, three fusion reactors that we have. So I don't know if we actually need a another set. I may do it just for the fun of it. I don't know. It takes a while to craft up all these components. It's basically the uh, the iridium reflector plates is the pain. Whatever they're neutron. Was what it neutron? Yeah, these things. Iridium neutron reflectors. These things are annoying. Although it's not as bad anymore now that we have the electric implosion compressor. So I don't know. Maybe we will, but uh, yeah, they're a bit of a pain. Um. So yeah, that is. That I have just kind of been letting this stuff run. Although I did run out of some of the cigar stuff I didn't realize, so these have didn't turn it off. But uh Yeah, we're kind of at the end of the pack basically. Um been working on the internal singularities. I want to get those. Uh these two are for the first two. And we have four more, and it's just really slow going. Is kind of the issue is because it's like tungsten, and then I need to make the recipe for the blocks. Then I have to craft the blocks up, and I have to do it for each one. And there's nine in each, so lots and lots of <laughs> things. I think there's seven, yeah, there's seven of these times nine. So, yeah, there's about 60 something that I have to do recipes for, so it's pretty slow going. Um, but yeah, these are the first two. I just need to do the recipes over here. And uh, yeah, that's the first one. But uh, I don't have any of this connected either, so still kind of working on that. I would like to be able to autocraft a Eternal Singularity. That's kind of what I wanted to set up. So that's what I am kind of doing if we look at the the compressor. I know this is on like a a single block, so it would be much faster if we did this in a what are they processing array or whatever it's called. Yeah, large processing factory. Um it would be much quicker. But for now I'm just kind of throwing the recipes in here. But as we can see there is a lot. And I'm probably gonna have to throw another uh, interface on there to get four more rows of recipes. But uh, unfortunately the UV solar panel is going to be a little while um, because I didn't even think about how many of the UEV circuits that we're going to need for the really ultimate battery. Um, I think we need, what do we need, 20? So that was unfortunately all the uh, circuits that we were going to use to craft up the UV solar panel, so I feel like we're kind of almost like back to square one with that. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately that is going to be a little while, but I am going to craft it up. Um, but we only have 78 biocells at the moment, so that's going to be a long time, unfortunately. Ironically, the solar panel is uh, going to be the last thing we craft up here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, kind of Kind of pointless. Like there's no this is completely unviable as a real power source in the pack. 
All right, as I am kind of finishing up the internal singularities, this is taking quite a long time, actually. Uh, it's just kind of uh, tedious work, um, but just going down one at a time and getting everything here. So got the recipe for that, wrapped up 61 more. And then we turned it into the singularity and put it aside. So basically just doing this over and over again. There's been a couple ones that we need to do something special for. Um, but for the most part, it's just doing that and then checking it off the list. Um, but there's a f been a few, like Damascus Steel, I had to come up with a recipe for, and um, I think I needed a whole bunch of zinc because the zinc singularity used almost 4,000 blocks. So, yeah, like this one's only 203, so this one's easy. And thankfully we have enough of that. So, let's make that and then make a recipe for the block, blah, blah, blah. But I think at this point, while I'm kind of doing this, it is time to kind of talk about what we're gonna do with the pack because we're basically at the end. So I think today may actually be the last kind of daily episode I will be uploading. I am not finished with the pack yet because I do want to, like, I don't want to leave it like this. And I still have fun playing the pack, but um, obviously the progression is basically done. We've crafted up everything I want to craft up. And uh, I'm sorry, the Stargate, just not going to happen. The recipe is just too insane. I mean, you need hundreds of these internal singularities that I'm doing right now. So it's just basically AFK for a few months and uh, then you can craft the Stargate. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, it just has no appeal to me. Um, but I do want to, like I said, I want to kind of finish up the pack with, I want to like make everything look good before I say, you know, the pack is done. And this is the final episode. So I think what I am actually going to do is um, record some stuff, but it may be, you know, four or five days in between. Um, but it's mostly going to be cosmetic stuff and kind of maybe a few optimizations here and there. Um, but for the most part, there's not going to be any, you know, new systems. I'm not going to be updating or anything like that. Um, in the very distant future, I may do an update and just do kind of like one episode on the changes and stuff. Um, but for the most part, this pack is done. Um, I may craft up a couple more fusion reactors, you know, before I make this a huge building kind of thing. So, yeah. But like I said, I think we're pretty much at the end of uh, doing the daily. Well, we're alternating days with the episodes here. So... Yeah, that is kind of what I am thinking. Oh, so there is the next one. And then I just kind of go down the line. Uh, Nick Wadria, that is a bit annoying. 66, what is 66 times? I'll get that smelting up. 66 times nine is what? Eh, about 660, I know that's too much, but we'll get that going uh, right there. Oh, and I totally forgot, uh, if you might see a item frame in my inventory, and that is because I forgot to get the uh, certificate out of the machine. I left it in there to pull it out while I was recording, and I totally forgot. There we go. There is the certificate of not being a noob anymore. Why don't we go ahead and just throw it on there. There we go. No longer a noob. So, too bad I didn't pull that out yesterday or last episode because crafting the really ultimate battery on that at the same day, that would have been pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, I am going to continue the series or the tutorial series. Uh, those are pretty fun. And now that I have a little bit more time, since this won't be taking up quite as much time, um, hopefully we'll get those out much, much quicker than I have been. Um, it just Finding the extra time to record those with this uh, pack was a little difficult um, since sometimes these episodes take quite a few hours to record and um, 
do that. So that is also what I'm going to continue to do with that. Um, I am going to do a final base tour, but that's not going to be until I actually finish, like fully finish. I'm done with this back pretty much forever kind of thing. So a long way to go before that. I want to make all these buildings, finally craft up all these buildings, make everything look neat and everything covered. I don't want just platforms of machines and stuff everywhere. So it's going to be a while before I do my final um, base tour, but I will do that at some point. Um, yeah, that's just going to take a little while. So I uh, still have some stuff coming from this series. It's not 100% over, but um, yeah, like I said, it's not going to be getting uploaded every other day anymore. Um, I do have some ideas on a new pack. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but uh, I do have a bit of an idea that uh, I'm thinking I will probably do continue alternating packs, I think, um, with a new pack. So we'll do our Project Ozone 3 and we will also do a new pack and hopefully everyone will like the one I have chosen. Um, haven't 100% uh, decided on one, but I'm like 99% sure I think I know which one I want to do next. And it will be Greg Tech related, so that's a little bit of a spoiler. Um, and I will also be doing a... Sorry, I was just, couldn't remember if I had a block of Nequadria already done. Um, I also will be doing a, like, thoughts on the mod pack kind of thing. I will just... Um, you know, fly around a bit and just talk about what I think of the pack and um, how I think it is, uh, in general, just how I think the uh, the pack has been done and all that stuff. So um, that will hopefully be kind of soonish, but like I said, I have uh, some stuff I want to do before that. So lots of things I want to do with this pack still, but like I said, the kind of daily uploads... Um, are probably coming to an end at this point. So hopefully uh, people won't be too sad to see this go. We have been doing it for a year. I know some people have been watching it the whole time. So thank you for sticking around for as long as we have with this pack. But I think we're up to what, 381 episodes I think this is. So almost to hit 400 um, with the pack. So that is really cool. So as we can see, this is just kind of it's very repetitive. It's easy, but uh, very repetitive. Now these two, I've left these because Shadow Steel. I have no idea how to craft up Shadow Steel. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, but most of the stuff I have in such large numbers, it's pretty easy. What was Shadow Steel again? There's probably like a dust recipe, I'm assuming. Five iron, carbon, magnesium. Let's see. See if I can figure it out. Six iron, one carbon. No. What would that be? Six, nine iron, one carbon, three magnesium. Come on. Is there no recipe for... See, there is like a, a thing for it. My 10%, but you know, completely sped up. Maybe that is something to think about for Shadow Steel. I do need about 3,600 blocks, so that is going to be pretty slow. Is that the only way to... Yeah, Shadow Iron, Shadow Iron, Shadow Steel, Shadow Iron. Is that the thing? There we go. Oh, Iron and Thaumian. Oh, that's really easy. Oh, that's the FEMA part. So three of that. That's, that was, I thought that was Magnesium. So the FEMA, three, but the, the other parts, just one Iron. I guess the carbon would come from the smelting. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking about chemistry because I'm making myself... Silly here. Is there a mixer recipe? 
Oh, there is no mixer recipe for that. So I'm just gonna have to do that. Um, thomium. Yeah, just pretend like I didn't say any of that chemistry stuff there, because I was sounding like an idiot. Um, just wanted to see if I could guess. Thought that'd be kind of fun. Iron dust, not powder. Eh, that was annoying. <laughs> uh, went right over it. There we go. So that is one of those. And what did I say? I needed six. How many should we need for this? 406. So what is that? 406 times 9 is what? 3,672? Am I like way off? Yeah, 3,654. Okay, that's funny. Wait, is this Shadow Iron? Shadow Steel. Wait, I'm getting myself confused here. Wait. Oh, I need to put this through. Right. And that's funny. That is right there. I didn't have to make a recipe for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, because, yeah. I already have this. This will go down to the dust. Anyway, well, we have a recipe for it if we need it. But let's, I guess, Summer Sunch fuse this and... assuming that will go in there and that will get us the dust and we only need 3600 so we do have enough of that so all right good yeah there's the dust all right so it is one iron i don't mind having that recipe in there but uh we didn't really need it well i guess we kind of did if we want to do another like singularity we have the recipe Shadow iron. There we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, I guess let me cut here and we'll come back in a little bit. We'll have one, two, three. Hey, I already did that one. Actually, we only have two more after this. We're almost, we're actually like, it's actually not that bad. I mean, okay, I've spent quite a few hours doing this. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of bad. Um, 406. All right, so I need to do, gotta get the block recipe and anyway. So yeah, let me uh, finish this and we'll come back. Okay, we are back and I have gone ahead and got all the singularities taken care of. So there are seven total of these. So 63 singularities that you need to craft up all these and I think I want to say I can just quickly go through them and pick out the ones that were like the absolute worst unstable ingots that was annoying um I had to do a B for that and uh took forever because you need 66 blocks of this stuff so you need a decent amount so I got the Barnard and I still, yeah, it's still going. I have quite a bit. Um, but yeah, um, that is a pain to get. But, uh, oh, these ender things? I don't know if this is supposed to be like this because this is basically a block of ender pole. There's nine ender pearls in there. You get the block of that. Whereas this is the compressor recipe, but um, the that singularity only takes these things. So you have to melt it all down and then cast it in the thing. And that is 608 of those. So 5,400 uh, ender pearls, um, which is not a problem because I have those mesh things that we got from the I think so ender pearls isn't an issue but uh yeah melting that down and putting it in the thing was a big old pain i had to use the super tanks and the fluid cell 
kind of thing. And I just had to AFK basically while it uh, auto poured the thing. So that was terrible. That was the absolute worst one uh, crafting that. Um, but everything else um, wasn't too bad. These Ardite and the Manulin were a bit annoying because there is no compressor recipe for that. I have to use a... There's a couple of them. Uh, aluminum Brass. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, Block of Aluminite. Oh my goodness. Block of Alumite, Ardite, and Manulin. I need to go in this... Alloy smelter, and I had to use the uh, block mold because there is no compressor recipe, so that's a bit annoying with those. So I think overall, this meteoric singularity was probably the most annoying. Electrotine, I had no electrotine, but thankfully there is a recipe for that. It just uses some electrum and uh, redstone. Um, but yeah, everything. This one was just annoying the tinkers items and yeah so um everything else wasn't too bad um we did have to make some recipes for a lot of this stuff but nothing yeah none of this stuff was bad we just had all the stuff there was just a couple things that we had to coal i had to, i have no i had no coal so i had to do like a coal b get the coal required for that but everything else I kind of saved up the stuff to uh, get this but uh, yeah the this one was definitely the most annoying but anyway I have got all the recipes in there except for the last one which is the eternal singularity why don't we go ahead and make the recipe for this? This is a little different than all the other ones. The other ones use the bedrock and nine singularities. This one only uses the seven and it's a little bit different. So pneumatic goes in the middle. Put that there. And then like that. Six in the middle like that. See if I can remember where these. So That there, that there, there, there. I think that's what those were. And these are the usual ones, I think. Right? No. That. That. All right. So there is those. And we got Nitronic. Spaghetic. Spaghetic. How do you even say that? Spaghetic. And cryptic and historic. Oh, if, oh that would have been no fun. All right, there's the recipe, but I need to do. I want to do the recipe for this. That would have been no fun. I accidentally. Forgot to make a recipe pattern for this. Don't know if I'm going to be auto crafting these, but uh, maybe, maybe we'll. You know, over time I will get the compressors for every single one. That could be kind of something kind of cool if I'm like, you know, letting the thing run in the background, just craft up. You know, sixty three of these, sixty three of these compressor things for all the singularities. I don't know, maybe. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna continue playing this back, but uh, it's not gonna be like a full blown series anymore, um, just because it's basically done. And there we go. There is the eternal singularity. Fortunately, there's no like there should be there should be some items that give you fireworks and stuff when you craft up. You know, just a little bit more like yay, you've gotten so far in the pack, you've done some difficult things, but uh, unfortunately. Yeah, the end game isn't super fleshed out in this pack. I'm kind of creating my own kind of end game here. But, uh, yeah. Still happy with that. That did, did take, I don't know, I spent uh, three, 
three days kind of working on it, you know, multiple hours that day. So, I mean, this actually did take quite a long time. It was just tedious with all the different uh, compressing, compressing down all the different blocks. And uh, the other thing, it was all the different, all the different amounts too. Lapis, you need 1,215. Tin, you need 3648. Lead, 3648. You know, psychotic. Okay, as I do like three in a row that are exactly the same. But uh, aluminum, 1824. Um, some of these, the quadria, 66. So, like, just all the different amounts and everything, it just was a bit time consuming. But uh, yeah, here we go. We have got. Eternal Singularity. So really, there's only one more thing I want left, and basically, I just have to AFK for that. Um, I do know this recipe has been improved, um, but the yeah, I'm having issues with oxygen. I'm not producing enough oxygen. Maybe I need to fix that really quick. Um, I'm doing. I remember with one of the updates. Where am I going? One of the updates broke the electrolyzer, so I replaced this. Ah, okay. And the other issue with this, I've, yeah. I just realized that was happening. Um, did this before. It, like, voided some of the stuff. And I think maybe, I don't know. That was a bit weird. I don't know how that happened. Um, but I think I'm going to replace this with the... A regular electrolyzer. It doesn't actually need to be in the well, it needs to be in this room. Yeah, it kind of goes with it. I mean, I need a hydrogen for fusion reactor, so yeah. The only issue with well, yeah, the way this is set up, this is using the cells. I gotta put more cells in there because it voided some, and I think that was because of the this but it's running i don't know maybe i did something and turned it off and i didn't realize um but the the electrolyzer if the things are full it will it won't run so i gotta be careful with that um, but uh yeah anyway just like i said there are a few things i'm gonna keep doing around the base just making everything really pretty and finishing all the buildings and yeah we will uh, kind of see where the bay the base kind of ends up in the end i think it looks pretty cool i'm pretty happy with it but you know i want to get you know more of this kind of stuff you know scattered about i got a little bit around uh the main building but there's a lot of you know like over here needs to be done and kind of fancied up and i really hate this flags not a fan of that a thing, but uh, yeah, it's been a pretty fun pack so far. I have enjoyed it quite a bit. There are some times that uh, I don't agree with uh, some of the decisions and the balancing and stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's been a pretty fun pack. Um, haven't had too many issues with like frame rate drops or I mean my frame rates have dropped quite a bit since I moved in I think I started with about 120 uh frames per second uh when we first moved to the garden dimension and now we're it's about we can see you know it's bouncing around but dropped quite a bit but that is just because of the size of the base um that's expected I haven't had any TPS issues or anything for the most part um, I did have one issue a, a while ago with Right tech pipes where it's causing a pretty serious um TPS thing and it was from this machine controller. I think it was like pumping it was trying to pump the fluid into a pipe that had no nowhere to go, and that was what was causing it. Don't quote me on that, but uh yeah, for the most part the pack has gone pretty well. Um but updates have a tendency to break things. So yeah, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this series. It's going to be a bit weird when I'm not uploading these every other day anymore. But uh, 
yeah, hacks eventually have to come to an end. But anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one.